In this video, we're going to be looking at the latest Finnish custom, the Smart Hulk. This is the latest custom project I put together. I was waiting on all the parts to do basically final assembly. I didn't really have too much to do to the body art once I got the body. Uh, if you've been to the channel before, you've seen where I panned up all those Hulk heads for myself and a few friends. Uh, this is one of the heads I painted up. I painted that up just for this project. I was wanting to do this for a while. Uh, my friend Don Sawyer, uh, I'll put his contact information on Instagram. He makes really cool custom soft goods. He made me a set of soft goods pants for this uh, 85th anniversary Hulk body. And uh, he made a white tank top uh, for a different look for the Hulk, but I decided to go with the black tank top. And I ended up ordering this one off eBay. It's for like a well, the, the Fison over muscular, like super muscular body, uh, one six scale torso, and it fits the 80th anniversary Hulk body perfectly. And it looks really good, fits the contours. It looks like it was tailored for this figure. The base body is actually a KO I actually got from uh, AliExpress or AliExpress, how you pronounce that. I got the 80th anniversary Hulk uh, KO, uh, another Juggernaut KO, and a Outback Hulk, which is on the 80th anniversary Hulk body KO for a few projects. And this one's the first one I put together, like I said. I used the Juggernaut boots and the 80th anniversary body. Benefit adding using the Juggernaut boots adds a little extra height to the body. And which, with I'm going with the... One of my favorite incarnations of the Hulk is the Smart Hulk, especially Gary Frank's depiction of the Smart Hulk, and that's what I was going for. The 90s uh, Gary Frank style Smart Hulk. And I love how this turned out. The added extra height helps with the proportions, I think, uh, where the Smart Hulk wasn't really drawn with the ape like proportions, which with the boots uh, lengthens the legs and adds a uh, the extra height. He was also drawn as like one of the biggest versions of the Hulk. Although the stats would actually list him as only like being seven foot something. But in the comics, he was drawn to being about eight to nine feet tall or better. Because he was huge. Captain America usually was the the height of the Hulk's arm in the comics. Like I said, it adds the nice little bit of height to the figure. Now he towers over the 80th anniversary Hulk with those boots. Also raised the position of the head too. The, give it a little bit more... Uh, look like it's got more like a neck. That's one thing I don't like about the 80th anniversary Hulk body. There is little to no neck on this torso. It is very short. So when if you put a head on there, it is sitting down on the on the traps. It's very stumpy looking. That's why I want to raise the head up, and I think the tank top actually, uh, way it's cut too, helps flow and make it look like it's got more of a neck too. The belt is from the KO Juggernaut. I just repaint it to put the blacked out the center and paint the perimeter of the edges of the buckle for silver, which actually fit over top the shirt and the pants pretty well. It doesn't fasten all the way, but it's good enough. It does a nice look for the figure. Kind of a Mezco style Hulk. See with the, the head sculpt, looks really good. It's a what this started out with, years and years ago, I got a enlarged Toy Biz Smart Hulk head from Glassbeam Customs, but I don't think he's still around. But I re-sculpted the hair, and I used the, the Craftman's technique on how the shrink molds. I made a mold of that re-sculpted head, mixed in mineral spirits with the silicone, and when the, silico the mineral sp spirits evaporate, the mold shrinks. So I was able to shrink that head down from a Marvel Select size to the Marvel Legends 80th anniversary Hulk size body. I think it looks great. Now in the comics, he was depicted with a, a smaller style head like this and a big bulky body. That's the way he was drawn. But for an alternate look, I do have a larger Hulk head. Uh, this is another have the resculpted hair, but it is the enlarged Toy Biz Smart Hulk head. The only thing I did with this one, besides the full paint job, 
I increased the length of the back of the head. That's the that was toy, toy Biz Hulks. Like the edge of the head would be like right here. So you don't have much of the back of the head. But this is actually looks good too with the bigger head on the depends on what kind of look you want to go for. You want to go for the more natural proportioned head, or do you want to go with like the comic book style with the smaller style head? Which I think the smaller head gives the body a bigger, bulkier look to it too. But anyway, that's this custom. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time.